Hello everybody, this is Michael with uh, Mikey Does Outdoors and I'm coming to you with a uh, new video about a Copper Break State Parks and I uh, hope you enjoy it and I uh, hope you look forward to more videos coming out. I'm getting better with the camera work and better with the editing software so it'll get better and better. Hello everyone, this is Michael with Mikey Does Outdoors and I'm reviewing Copper Breaks State Park here in the great state of Texas. And um, this is one of those hidden gems that uh, not very many people realize are, is there. It's right in between uh, Crowell and Quanah in Texas. And it's not that far from, from Lubbock or Amarillo or several places. Uh, one thing you'll see is there's signs that say there's Texas Longhorns. And you have to keep an eye out for them. But if you'll watch as you go through... Uh, the thick brush and just be careful you you see some like a hint of white or some other color you need to stop because that's what I did I noticed some white so I backed up wanted the camera I couldn't see them real good but I tried to see it with the camera zoom in some and then I backed the truck up so I could get a little better look at him but there's a longhorn he knows I see him <laughs> I'm not sure if he cares or not but he he knows he's been seen and I got the camera on him so And I, I actually went back back around there a couple of times, and I found another one that uh, let's pop up here in just a second. I just got a photo. I didn't get a video of this one. A little different one. You can see got different colors and stuff. and Pretty neat to see. Here's a look at the campsite. This is a picnic table, and you'll see the trailer and everything together. There's not any trees there at the RV area, but there's, there's lots of trees around and lots with the picnic tables. There's all kinds of hiking trails and 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 biking trails and even equestrian trails and good places for you to camp with with horses and stuff and so uh, it's not a bad place to go check out. Just make sure if you're going hiking, make sure you take plenty of water with you. It gets hot and people run out of water before they know it around there and then you have problems. So make sure you take plenty. Then here's the there's a scenic overlook and this is the lake. Uh, at Copper Break State Park and you can kind of get a little bit of a look at the whole thing and as we're scanning you can see there's a fishing pier down there in a second I'll zoom in so you can kind of get a look at it from the... there it is and then here we are at this fishing pier so, and I'm not showing these folks because I didn't get their permission to, to show faces or anything but they're they're good folks from from Arizona looking to move to Texas there's a the spillway it's the lake is full gets my train and it's going right over it's a no wake lane lake and there's a no trot line fishing or anything like, like that but you can put a boat in a small boat in there and do some fishing it's and it's got a little boat ramp little boat dock kind of place you can see a fish over there kind of jumped a second ago but uh there was a little kid down here enjoying it and he actually is uh, one of the children of one of the, the park rangers. And that park ranger told me that they're always coming down here and and, and catching 10-pound largemouth out of here. Because a 10-pound largemouth is huge for any lake. But this is a small lake, uh, but he says that's what they do. So I, I've got a boat I'm working on, and when I get finished with my boat, I'm going to go back there and I'm going to give it a try. Cause I want to see what that's like to catch a big, a big bass and see if he, he was pulling my leg for it's real, really real. And there's also uh, catfish, supposed to be both uh, flatheads and uh, blue catfish in here, and maybe uh, maybe some channel cats as well. I didn't take any that kind of bait with me, so I didn't I didn't try catching any. Um, I'm a little rusty at this kind of fishing, well fishing in general, I guess, but. Uh, I'm trying to fish here. I don't catch anything. But, you know, like they say, even your worst day of fishing is better than any day at work. It's your best day at work. And so uh, I thoroughly enjoyed taking the time and doing a little fishing, trying to catch something. And uh, this is one of my favorite things to do, just sit and relax and try to catch fish. Enjoy some time in nature, and hit. right here, I'm the only person I can see for, for miles from this particular spot, and so 
kind of fun to me to be there. And I'm trying out my my Sony action cam on my head strap and I I may I also had now have a chest strap. I'm gonna try that on some of my trout fishing. Matter of fact, you already want the I have one more state park I'm gonna show you in, in the next video or one of the next videos and and then I'm going into the mountains in Colorado and New Mexico and I can catch trout. I'll sh I'll be able to show you a video of me actually catching some of those because I I've got that down. And I'll show you the rigs and everything that I use and uh, actually the the place I just got back from I can I caught a catfish and a couple little bluegill and I even caught a turtle but I got the catfish probably on video and I got pictures of him so I'll be able to show you that and just tell you what I was doing. It's really not not difficult and it's a whole lot of fun when you tie into a fish. But I thought I'd show you a little bit of this. This is just just me trying and not catching anything. But it's we had a, had a good time. As a matter of fact, you see me using that yellow pole. That's one of my favorite poles for smaller fish because it's a that one's a feather light, and then I have one that's an ultralight. And if you're gonna catch trout or crappie or bluegill or anything that's smaller, it makes it a whole lot of fun because it's a light rod and it it makes them feel even better and the fight goes on longer. It's it's a lot of fun. You don't want to tie into a big fish with it probably, but I mean, you probably could if you knew what you're doing. You could probably manage to land a pretty good sized fish, but it only has like four pound line on it, so that might be a difficult thing to do. But then I'm I'm done fishing, so I'm heading back to the truck. It's really not too bad, but I did notice one thing about this these wooden planks here after a good soaking rain which we had the night before these things are a little squishy now when they dry out they, they they're fine but when i came out there to, to do the fishing they were still soaking wet and it's kind of squishy they still held me but they were still you could feel the, the squishiness And it's really not that far from that that dock, that fishing pier, or fishing dock, whatever you want to call it, to the vehicles. Uh, and it's a nice little little walk, and you can you can see all kinds of bunny rabbits and stuff while you're walking. As a matter of fact, speaking of bunny rabbits, this is one I saw when I was driving around. Thought I'd give a little closer look at him. He thought he was hiding. Well, thank you for yeah. watching the video, everybody, and. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I have more more to come. And I'll actually start doing more stuff where you actually see me doing stuff outdoors, the hiking and the fishing. Uh, I may even get my mountain bike out, which I haven't used in a long time. But uh, if you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.